So it's uh, pretty late um, or early and I'm pretty tired. So I thought now would be the perfect time to do a review video. Um, I'm gonna do a review of the uh, Aldi Expressi um, copy of the Nespresso thing. So uh, here's that. Um, I think they're like 70 bucks for the, these things, and then these are $15. And you get um, mm, 16 capsules, which apparently comes to 35 sets. I didn't do the maths, so uh, don't blame me if that's wrong. My favourite flavour is 10. I, we've had this for about two years. Uh, actually, no, more than two years. About four years now. Um, we've had two of these because the first one broke after two years, which is, I guess, fair enough. We drink a lot of coffee. Um, it comes with a milk frother, which is completely useless. Like, it does really good frothed milk, but I don't know if you can see in here. That is, uh, it's a cup worth. So the line for the max is like, it's less than a cup. Um, and it takes like five minutes. So it's useless. Just I milk, warm the milk in the microwave. Um, water goes in here. Uh, coffee capsule thing goes in here. Yeah, it's really simple. There are three buttons. Like that's, three is an amount I can work with. It's not too complicated. That's it really, I don't know. I was gonna say something else, but um. You put the coffee cup just there, pretty simple. And then you press the um, button on the right to rinse it first. That rinses the uh, the mechanism. It's going really well. Now, when that's done, I like to lift it up just to drain that last little bit because you never know what's lurking behind. Anyways, so. This is where my criticism starts for the machine. These things, great coffee for 35 cents, whatever. Put it in here, you close the lid and um, it kind of pierces it. So I don't know how, I don't know if you can see in there, there's like these little teeth and they kind of pierce the um, capsule. Um, and you push it down, you gotta kind of give it a bit of a, Spanking and uh, yeah, that woo. Um, sometimes it doesn't pierce it the whole way, and uh, it just kind of the machine makes a noise, but no water comes out, even when there is water in the uh, who's in the gidget. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully, this works. We've narrowed it down to. It not being the machine, um, it's actually the capsules. So sometimes you get a dud batch of capsules and there's literally nothing you can do, like the capsules are just screwed. So that is a criticism that I have of Aldi's machine. Yeah, and then when it's done, you lift the lever and it drops the pod into the uh, this thing this comes out pure and um, It smells amazing. It smells like a nice warm cup of coffee. Um, <clears throat> then, because the bloody frother is so useless, I just pour cold milk into here. Then, Whack it in the microwave for exactly a minute 
and five seconds. That is the optimal temperature. It's not too hot. It's just nice temperature. I don't really have anything further to add there. You gotta wait for a minute. Got a nice pimple over here, in here. Really good, really good stuff. Going for a haircut tomorrow. Got to get rid of whatever this is, and this. Oh yeah. A minute and five seconds is a long time to wait for a coffee if you can already smell it. But I've waited longer for things that are less good. So, I guess you can cop it. It'd just be nice if the milk frother worked. Well, it works. If it had a bigger capacity. Boop. Yep. And then, um, that's what it looks like. Then, I like to give it a stir. I used to have it with sugar. Um, so this used to be me stirring the sugar, but, um, I guess I still do it just out of habit, I'm not really stirring any sugar in, just spreading the warmth. Yeah, so, um, the coffee machine's really good for the price, um, frother, absolutely terrible, sometimes the pods are useless too, um, but, all in all, pretty damn good. Love a good Aldi.